What I want to focus in on are three key things that I think are at the foundation of any ser service-driven organization. Three key things that I hope that you walk away with today. The first thing is this. First principle is this. No matter what you do within your operation, whether you're a clinician, whether you work in IT, whatever the role is, to look at everything through the lens of the customer. Look at everything that happens in the hospital through the lens of the customer. Because most organizations don't. They will say that they do, but they don't. And I can prove it. How many of you in the last few years have purchased furniture that you had to have delivered to your house? Raise your hands if you bought for. Okay, then let me ask you this question. What were the guidelines that the furniture store gave you for the delivery of the furniture? What were the guidelines? Be there when? Be, yeah, be there between 12 and 4, right? I, I had one guy say June. They told me to be there in June. But, but usually it's a, a four-hour, an eight-hour window that they give you, right? So here's my question for you. And if you would all please answer this question. Whose convenience are they really concerned with? Theirs. And to me, the better question then, and if you would also answer this, whose lens are they looking through? Theirs. Yet you go on their website, you look at their marketing materials, they will say, we're a customer-focused operation. You experience them, and they're not. That's the question we need to be asking. Whose lens are we doing, or are we using when we do what we do? Now contrast that, and keep in mind, I, I recognize that healthcare is a very challenging industry. But I want you to imagine at this moment being in the airline industry. I mean, you can't pick up the paper without seeing another airline's in trouble. So, so contrast that example with the, with the furniture with one of my favorites, which is Southwest Airlines. Okay, which is not a perfect airline, there's no such thing, but, and my guess is some of you know this, Southwest recently posted their 33rd consecutive year of profitability. So clearly they're doing something right. The thing I think they do so well is they understand the lens of their customer. And keep in mind, not everybody's the right customer for Southwest. Some people don't like the way they board the planes and all that, and they're okay with that. But the ones that are, they understand the lens. The way I see it, because I do fly on them a lot, is through the performance of their flight attendants. Okay. How many in the room have flown on Southwest? Raise your hands if you, okay, at some point. Now, for the most part, and I'm not saying every one of them, but for the most part, I think Southwest flight attendants are the best ones out there. Because they've taken those same boring safety spiels that most of us have heard hundreds of times. If I asked you to, how many of you, you could come up here right now, you could do an airline safety spiel. Because you've even got the hand motions down. So <laughs> that's actually pretty good. Too. So here's my, but here's my question. How many people actually listen? No, I mean, there's usually one person on the plane that pulls out the card and follows along. You know, We laugh at them, but the rest of it, we tune it out because we've heard it so many times. Well, I was on a Southwest plane a while back. The flight attendants have been wonderful through the whole thing. But the one I remember is we we're getting ready to land. And any time a plane is landing, you can guarantee the flight attendant's going to get on the microphone and say, when we pull up to the gate, be careful as you open the overhead bins. Items have a tendency to shift during flight. They all say it. I was on the Southwest plane. We were landing, pulling up to the gate. Flight attendant gets on the microphone and says, when we pull up to the gate, be careful as you open the overhead bins. Items have a tendency to shift during flight. And as you know, shift happens. <laughs> so we're, what did she say? What, what, what? So we were hanging on every word. When, when the plane landed, you know how they put on the reverse thrusters to slow the plane down? The co-pilot got on the microphone and went, whoa, big fellow, whoa, as we're slowing down. So now as we got off the plane, what were we all doing? We were laughing. And that's not usually what you're doing, right? <laughs> it's usually, get out of my way. Now, here's my question. How much did that cost Southwest Airlines to do that? Nothing. To me. That's the beauty of looking through the lens of the customer. It's not about money. It's about taking a step back and looking at what we're already doing, but turning that lens around.